I think that in the community I'm living in in Central Oregon, it's really looking at, at the access issues and how we work our way upstream to, to finally get to solving more into those social determinants of health that everybody's talking about and moving in from physical, the physical health space to the behavioral health space to the drivers of that be, those behavioral issues. I think that the risk-based reimbursement is really the, the direction it has to ultimately move towards to get away from volume-based reimbursement, which incentivizes volume-based activity. How do you move towards a more kind of health focus versus just treating what's in front of me today. A lot of the change is still incremental, you know? So it's it's adding in kind of that behavioral health consultant into the office and then adding, you know, maybe, uh, you know, the behavioral health specialist that does the chart reviews that kind of can highlight major issues. Moving into spaces that have lacking access and trying to kind of really bring kind of that first level of care to kind of stabilize patient volumes within those communities and then moving upstream and kind of continuing to layer on services. It's certainly hard to kind of jump right to the how do we deal with that housing when you're really working in the pediatric space and, um, in a very much more acute setting. Thank you.